This is Denver 7 On Demand. Good morning, I'm Molly Hendrickson with the latest from Denver 7. Today, RTD begins the process of removing human flaggers from A-line crossings more than two years after they first opened. There have been malfunctions with the crossing gates since the line first opened, and at 6 tonight, flaggers at the Clayton, Steel, Holly, and Dahlia stations will be gone for good. New this morning, you can help families and businesses recover losses from the 416 fire in southwestern Colorado. The Community Foundation serving southwest Colorado set up a fund to raise money, and so far, community members have donated more than $145,000. They hope to raise half a million dollars, which is badly needed. Today, the Denver Nuggets officially introduced new additions to the team from the last night's NBA draft. With the 14th pick, the team selected Michael Porter Jr. out of Missouri. The Nuggets also traded the 43rd pick to the Magic for Jared Vanderbilt from Kentucky. Then they took Thomas Welsh from UCLA at number 58. And now, from the First Alert Weather Center, here is meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo. It is such a pretty morning. We're under a mostly sunny sky right now. Temperatures this morning in the 60s will be well in the 80s this afternoon. Now, here's the change. We've got another risk of severe weather this afternoon. It'll stay all quiet through early and mid-morning, and then we'll likely start to see a few storms developing by 12. Likely what we'll get here in Denver will be some rain, lightning, and thunder, which is then going to turn stronger as it rolls east. And we've got a pretty good chance of some severe storms on the far eastern plains late afternoon, early evening. We'll be under a mostly clear sky, it looks like, by about 5 o'clock here, but then more storms and showers possible up to the north northeast through the early evening. So we will look for that risk of, again, larger hail, damaging winds, and even some tornadoes on the eastern plains. We'll be in the 60s early Saturday, 80s again tomorrow afternoon, with a few more thunderstorms over the northern plains late Saturday. Uh, the winds will pick up out west, so fire danger is still really high on the western slope. Mid to upper 80s both today and tomorrow. Strong storms again on Sunday. Saturday looks pretty good, mostly sunny here in town, and then a chance for some storms into the first of next week, with 70s Molly into the first of uh, next week, but 90s by Wednesday. All right, thanks, Lisa. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later this morning for another update and download the free Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Molly Hendrickson.